It's your boy Will back with another video. In this video, we'll be talking about Digital World Acquisition, ticker symbol DWAC. And the second one will be Funware, ticker symbol PHUN. We'll be going over what happened with both of these stocks, the old levels, as you can tell, a clear resistance level right there, a why I did not enter on one. And then for DWAC, pull back the whole day. Okay, I had a lot of questions if we should enter, and I said no. So let's go over the old levels. I'll give you guys some new levels I'm looking for for tomorrow. Make sure you guys smash the like button if you're new. And if you enjoyed the video, also subscribe if you're new. I think I mixed that up. And check out the videos that I posted before this one on three penny stocks and some key videos, okay? So make sure you check all those out. Now, for DWAC, what happened today? Huge pullback all day, okay? I think this is when they were asking me in the Discord group. Make sure you join. Link in the description, pin in the comments. If we should buy DWAC, I said no. Don't feel like buying DWAC. It doesn't really show strength. And it's just too risky to be playing right now and at high prices, okay? You have to remember where it came from. <clears throat> the move came from about 49 or so, and you're trying to buy at 64. So that's very high, okay? We do not chase price. So price came back down, doo -doo 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 -doo, came down to that buying level, kind of found some support, never hit the resistance level, okay? So what we'll do is we'll go back out to a 90-day, 30-minute chart, Go ahead and clear these levels off. And then we'll put some new levels on here. Um, I'll give you guys the buying level first. <clears throat> and where I like to see buying pressure at, that's around 51.50. So I still want to see some pullback. And it actually is pulling back after hours more. It closed right around like 56, 55. And it's down about a dollar and 20 cents. Okay, so it is pulling back. That's what we want to see. Buying pressure around 51.50. And then honestly, I think we could probably take it back up. <coughs> Excuse me. I think we'd take it back up. I want to say around 60. So 60 is a target that I'll be kind of aiming for. So let's go ahead and put that on the chart. Around that 60 mark. So from entry to exit, we'll be looking at about a 16% return. I think that's a nice profit target as long as we get that buying pressure right here. I won't be going heavy or anything. It is a riskier play. So just make sure you watch those levels. And if we get that buying pressure, I think we'd be good. Second one is Funware. Okay, reason I did not enter today. Look at the old buying level right around that $3.80. What happened? Clear resistance. What happens when buying level turns to resistance? Bearish. Okay. Main reason I did not buy today when I saw that, okay? So let's go back out to the 90-day, 30-minute chart. Hope these levels help you guys. Like I say, they're more than just a buying level. It could be resistance levels as well, okay? They're very, very key. So with Funware, I'll give you guys the buying level first, just like uh, DWAC. And buying level would be right around, I would say about 325 and it's actually about to hit that after hours, so I'll probably watch this one, this one closely. 325, looking for that buying pressure. Go ahead and turn that green. Always make sure that buying pressure confirms, okay? Always make sure that buying pressure confirms, which leads me to our next point. You should be joining the VIP signals, and you should be joining the original signal, original signals, whichever one fits you, okay? VIP comes with two monthly live teaching zooms. It also comes with two Discord rooms, so you have two different Discord rooms, and it comes with the stock market options crash course, very, very informative videos to kind of help you in the market. You can also use Will50 off to get $50 off this price right here, okay? Now with Funware, we're looking for buying right around that 325 area. And then we're looking for an exit, I would say, probably around like 370 or so. Not looking for too big of a move. I just want to get profit, okay? We're just trying to be profitable in this type of play. Okay, so that's about a 13% run. I like that percentage. We just got to make sure we get that buying pressure right around that $3.25 area. And if we do, I think we'll be good to go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Always remember, no recommendation to buy or sell anything just for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.